This is Kyle Snyder with Rudis Wrestling. I'm going to be talking about getting inside control. You know, inside control is the most dominant position on your feet in wrestling. You know, we can wrestle from elbows. So he collarized me. I could wrestle from elbow. I mean, thumb block's pretty defensive. I see guys in the throat and different stuff like that, two on one. But in my opinion, inside control is the best tie for an offensive wrestler to be at. And if you want to have good defense too. So we got to know how to get there. Number one, I'm always trying to stay ahead of my opponent. So uh, when I make contact, I'm looking to get inside uh, and immediately dig in with my head in good position. So I make contact with one hand, he, he gets a collar tie. I'm gonna circle towards my collar tie hand to get, to get inside control with my free hand. So I pop, make contact, my elbow's down. I'm gonna circle towards my collar tie hand and pummel inside. If I don't have good head position, your opponent can attack as you come up. Because most of the time what we see is when we're trying to get inside position, our head comes up. This is a good time for this guy to shoot a single leg. But we're aware of that and we're going to be disciplined so that doesn't happen. Next thing that I like to do, if I can't get inside, con inside control, what I'll do is I'll grab my opponent's elbow, pull it to my chest, and then when he fights out, I fight back inside. So. Elbow to my chest, he fights out, I get back to my inside control. So every time, all the time that I'm on the mat, I'm thinking about inside control, faking, and then getting to my opponent's legs. So a couple ways that I get to the inside control.